With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Two particles of masses M1 and M2 are initially at rest at infinite distance apart. If they approach each other under the mutual interaction, F is given here it is minus K by R square. This speed of approach at the instant when they are at t distance apart. So let's say at any instant when they are at a d distance apart, they are moving with velocity v1 and v2. Let's say this is mass m1 having velocity v1, mass m2 velocity v2. So if you see we wanted the velocity of approach here. So the velocity of approach you can uh, if you see we wanted uh, the speed of approach. So you can see from the diagram the speed of approach if you write down it is the rate with which they are coming together the rate with which the distance between them is decreasing and that is v1 plus v2 we want this from this question right. So if you see here there is no external force this force is a mutual force that acts on the two right so here the momentum will remain conserved taking the right as positive if i see initial momentum was zero when they were at infinity they were at rest final momentum if you see it is m1 v1 minus m2 v2 this is the final momentum and there is no external force as i already told you so it will be equals to zero as that of the initial momentum from here I will write down m1 v1 is equals to m2 v2 right. So you can either put the value of v1 or either you can put the value of v2 in this expression. So if you write down the v1 it is m1 m2 v2 by m1 put it here I will write down m2 v2 by m1 plus v2. So it will be m2 v2 plus m1 v2 by m. Right. We want this. Now if you see here the force here is this minus k by r square. So if I write down the work energy theorem I will write down only forces that is doing work is this. It will be equal to the change in kinetic energy. Initial kinetic energy was 0, so it will be simply final kinetic energy. Force here is minus k by r square. If you see, force is this. So, if you write down the small work done, since the force is varying with the distance, right? So, it will be, and let's say the distance between them is decreased by a distance r, right? This will be the work done. So I will write down and the distance between them is changed from infinity to d. It will be final kinetic energy. Finally, you can see they both are having equal momentum p. So if I write down the, this m1 v1 and m2 v2 as p. So I can write down the final kinetic energy as p square by 2 m1 plus p square by 2 m2 since we know that the kinetic energy is momentum square by this mass two times of mass right so after writing this if you integrate this expression and put the limit this is r to the power minus 2 so r to the power minus 2 plus 1 it will be minus 1 so it will be and minus minus it will become plus infinity to d so put the limit so at infinity this expression will be 0 and you will get k by d and if you see this expression if you take this momentum outside 1 by m1 plus 1 by m2 and you can see the velocity of approach expression it is m m2 v2 plus m1 v1 by it will be m1 here now so from here you will get the momentum of the system right if you see 
this is uh, m1 plus m2 by m1 m2 times of momentum square by 2 so you can write down the momentum is equal to if you see this is kd so kd into this term that is m1 m2 by m1 plus m2 into it will be 2 here under root right now if you see here we wanted the velocity of approach and we already wrote it is v1 plus v2 and m1 v1 is equals to m2 v2 is equals to p and we got this p here so i will write down the velocity of approach is v1 plus v2 and v1 v2 is p by m1 p by m2 since both have equal mass equal momentum i will take p common in the bracket i will write down 1 by m1 plus 1 by m2 okay if you see uh, this term is m1 plus m2 by m1 m2 into p p value we already calculated put it here so you will write down the final expression if you see it will be 2k by d and this will be uh, if you enter this uh, like uh, if you bring this into the square this will come with a square into the root this will come in with a square and 1 m1 plus m2 by m1 m2 will get cancelled out and you will get uh, this as the velocity of approach and answer of this question now you can check for the option here under root k 2k by d into this so a is the correct answer here thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today